Hello and welcome back to the ICU doc. This is Tomatis Baronos and here's another lecture on transthoracic critical care echo. In today's presentation we'll talk about the apical five chamber view, how to get it and the structure we're looking at. Let's first talk about the ultrasound probe position. Just like in the apical four chamber view, place the probe at the point of maximal impulse near the fifth intercostal space at the mid axillary line with the indicator of the probe pointing towards the three o'clock position. Once you get a good apical four chamber view, note that the aortic valve is a more interior structure, meaning it is closer to the anterior chest wall. So the only thing you have to do is tilt the ultrasound beam towards the anterior chest wall and you will see the apical five chamber view. Here's a demonstration. From the apical four, the only thing you need to do is tilt the ultrasound beam anteriorly. And here's the apical five chamber view. Let's talk about this view in more detail. The apical five chamber view is pretty much just like the apical four chamber view, except now we have visibility of the left ventricular outflow tract in the aortic valve. Let's label some of the structures that we're looking at in the apical four chamber view right now. This is the left ventricle. This is the left atrium. This is the right atrium. And this is the right ventricle. And you will see now by tilting the probe anteriorly, you're going to have the left ventricular outflow tract appear over here. And this is the aortic valve. What is very important about this view is that the flow of blood is parallel to the ultrasound beam. This means that we can accurately measure the velocity of blood that goes through the left ventricular outflow tract. And if we know the velocity of blood going through the LVOT, as well as the radius of the LVOT, we can measure the stroke volume. I will actually have a separate lecture in the future to describe this technique. And this concludes the Apical 5 Chamber View and its anatomy. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you visit our website, YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter to stay updated when new videos come out. If you like those presentations, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.